Dear NEET aspirants, many of you have been asking that can I still crack NEET 2023 even if you start studying now and what is the realistic study plan for the last 3 months. So in this video, I will be guiding you and tell you the realistic plan for the last 3 months and even tell you how to execute the plan and work upon it. So the answer to the first question is that yes, yes you can still crack NEET 2023. So let's come to the plan. From now onwards, you have 3 months and 3 days. That's around 90 plus days. So if you study daily for 10 hours, it would be around 900 hours. If we take 12 hours per day, it would go up to around 1100 hours. And I can guarantee there are many students who can make it even 15 plus hours a day, which may result in 1300 plus hours in total. So what should be your plan and how should you utilize this amount of time so that we take out best possible results or how can we make the most of the hours used in a way that our preparation is being optimized. Let's sort out. So first of all, you have to evaluate yourself that which chapters have you studied or just touched or just went through even once. So divide all your syllabus in two parts the one part which you have just went through deeply or superficial and the other part of the syllabus which would comprise those topics which you have never seen or never went through now divide your time according to those topics for example if you have went through 70 percent of the topics once and did not see around 30 percent of topics ever so divide your time according to this and give a part of your time what you feel important to both the parts for the topics which you have already studied you have to revise them and practice their questions make the time according to these two factors revision and practice for the topics you never saw you have to first study them then revise them then do their questions and after all those revise them again so calculate or estimate and assign the time according to these factors if you are unable to do so then write in the comments below we will make a separate video on how much time you should be giving to which part of the syllabus and how to divide the syllabus and how much time assigned to them when you divide how much time should be given to which topics keep in mind that revision and practice are the real keys make a separate time daily just for revision and even in that time you have to study all three subjects that is biology chemistry and physics not only anyone you have to study each and every subjects daily for example if you have given four hours for revision daily then in those four hours divide it according to which subject do you have to revise more for example two hours for physics and one hour for biology and one hour for chemistry each you can even divide more specifically like which topics of physics or chemistry like organic one hour or inorganic half an hour this is not fixed for anyone this is variable according to students someone who have studied biology a lot like most of the NEET aspirants they will give less time to this topic and they will assign more time to the topics which they have studied less or have to give more attention and focus and time for dividing the word syllabus you can also divide by one more technique from now onwards take some topics from each subject for every day for example for Monday you have taken two chapters from chemistry and one chapter from physics and a few chapters from biology or if you have studied whole biology then don't keep biology in the main study time slot keep it only in the revision time slot and the practice time slot because many NEET aspirants have had already completed biology and only their physics and chemistry is left and many are there also who have completed both biology and chemistry and just left with physics only so make your plan very realistic in this way and make it according to you only you and not directly by someone else or from a youtube video only you know or only you can evaluate yourself and how much water you are in and how much you have to do on which part of your study no one else can know that so make it according to your need not by what someone says without even knowing what you need and how much you need on which part of the study and syllabus. There is one more thing that when you are making the realistic study plan for NEET 2023, you have to be realistic in real also. And only in your thoughts like you have made a plan for 18 hours studying every day and not given any time to any other things that's not gonna work so it would sound great and also give you positive affirmations and satisfaction for some time but eventually it would not work and even if you did it in real and it really worked it would fail anyhow after just a few days so keep in mind that you have to be very practical and very realistic in real also make sure you have to give time to some very important things besides studies also a few examples of which are like exercise, yoga, walking, meditation, talking to friends for freshen your mind, just little sports, eating properly, sleeping properly, adequate water intake, etc. So when you make your realistic study plan, you have to not only keep these things in mind, but you have to write these also in the paper. Don't just think in the brain that you will do them and not writing in the actual plan. If you don't write, you will surely forget at the time of execution or the time of studying because your brain will be focused at something else. So when 
यू मेक द प्लान राइट दो थिंग्स इन एक्चुअल प्लान ऑल्सो विच आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू स्टडी सो दैट यू डोंट हैव टू बॉदर अबाउट एनीथिंग एल्स एंड यू हैव टू जस्ट फॉलो योर प्लान वॉट यू हैव मेड द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज वेन यू मेक योर रियलिस्टिक स्टडी प्लान एंड वेन यू आर असाइनिंग टाइम फॉर इच पार्ट और इच स्लॉट डोंट असाइन टाइमिंग कंटिन्यूसली फॉर लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन कीप द स्लॉट स्मॉल एंड बाई एडिंग ऑल दीज स्मॉल स्मॉल स्लॉट मेक अ बिग स्लॉट ब्रेक्स आर इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज आफ्टर एवरी सर्टन ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टाइम योर ब्रेन गेट्स सेचुरेटेड एंड इट कुड इवन बिकम स्लो एंड फेटिक so in that case you will not even know and you would be studying less and you may lose the parts of those syllabus so when you give breaks in each slot give breaks of a smaller duration in the smaller slots and just a little longer breaks in longer slots i will give you an example if you have given 3 hours for studying chemistry then keep the slots of 50 minutes and after every 50 minutes take a break a small break not longer like 10 minutes or maximum 15 minutes and when you complete the whole slot of 3 hours of chemistry then take a longer break longer does not means some hours longer means just a bit longer like 20 to 30 minutes and in this time refresh your brain or you can even reward yourself and your brain because after doing a task if you give rewards to yourself the brain loves it so much and it would keep doing better and better rewards could be anything like listening to your favorite music or doing just a little exercise or yoga or just talking to a good friend avoid using social media as it could engage you for longer time and every day the syllabus may left behind which would later be left for Forever only. Also, when you assign time for the plan, give a good amount of time or adequate time to healthy habits like eating, drinking water, sleeping, etc. If you cut down on these things, it would affect your health for sure. And even if you study more and more, it would be less only because those are very important things for brain and your health. Without those, you will end up losing your health also and also your study eventually. So let's not make the video too long at once. Remember the points. Follow the points for making a best realistic study plan for you, made by you only. which would suit you best and give you the best outcome and just crack the need just crack the need the fighter aspirants if you feel like asking anything or any queries or if you want videos on certain topics just write it in the comments below if you don't like to comment and keep it private or you have problems which are personal and you don't want to share or ask publicly you can mail us on our email keep your name and details hidden don't tell your name we will reply on email also don't stop yourself from doing anything which could give you a positive outcome once again just crack the need you can still crack the need 2023 good luck